How are the Beckrick brothers? And today we have Star Wars Set 75182, Republic Fighter Tank. So first we got the menu figs, and from left to right we've got Ayla Secura, two battle droids, and a clone gunner. Ayla Secura is a very nice figure, being the first non-Clone Wars version we've gotten of her yet, meaning she doesn't have big eyes. She's got very nice printing on both the head, torso, uh, hips, and legs, and she's got a normal lightsaber. We've also got two battle droids, they're plain and normal, and what we've got in every Clone Wars set pretty much so far. And we've also got a clone gunner. He's a very nice figure once again with printing on both the helmet, torso, but not on the hips, but as well, but he does have legs, printing. And he's our first phase two clone gunner we've ever gotten, as well as exclusive to the set. So now we've got the backs of the figures, and both Ayla Secure and the clone gunner have very nice back printing. Ayla Secure also has a more peaceful alternate expression. And the battle droids are just, once again, playing on the back. Okay, now I'm going to show you the features. It has these double stud shooter cannons, which can move up and down. It also has these wheels at the bottom, which allow it to drive. It's supposed to look like it's hovering. And I think it looks like it very well. And it has a compartment to hold some studs for the stud shooters, which I'll show you in one moment. Take a look at the aesthetics of the vehicle. It's got a very nice dark red and white color scheme, and it's also got yellow and light gray as an accent color. It's got very nice detailing all around, except maybe for the back, which is a little bit plain compared to the rest of the vehicle, though it also has a very nice part usage as using these very small swords as antennas, right here. There's also, as Jacob showed you, a compartment on the back. You can keep on going around, very nice detail. There's also a bit of stickers on this, which only add to it. I like the little skinny view site made using transparent clear cheese slopes. There's also two items clipped to the sides, a rifle and a wrench in a silver color, and that's very rare. You, there's also an opening hatch on the top, which allows you to fit a fig, only one figure inside, the cone gunner in this case. And he fits in there rather snugly, though he looks good, and he's got a little printed control panel, but I don't believe you can see it. That's about it for the aesthetics. Before I tell you if this set is good or not, I think I should tell you a quick thing. I'm biased. I can't really think of any LEGO sets I don't especially like. This is a set that we've, per that we've actually gotten because we like it. There's a reason behind it. We just didn't get it to review. We actually like this set. It's a very nice tank, because it's a tank. It's got only room for one figure, so Luminara, Undooli, or the Clone Gunner's got to be outside kind of fighting the battle droids on their own. The shooting function's awesome. It's fun to play with, trying to hit the little battle droids. Though it's not that easy unless you're a very talented marksman like Jacob. I'm not that good, and it usually takes me a good amount of tries before I hit. It's also got very nice detailing, and the price is very good. You get, this is only $25 in the United States of America. I don't know how much it costs in Great Britain or other parts of the world, because I don't live in other parts of the world, so I don't really have to worry about it. So I hope you've gotten to see everything you've wanted to see in this set, and please leave a and please tell us what you think in the comments section below. Bye for now!